It's often said that a magician does not reveal his secrets. But actually, that's exactly what I want to do here today when I share with you three secrets on how to give really any technique in Thai massage. And so then you can take this knowledge, for example, and apply it to my Thai massage challenge. And so that's a free course that I have for you and that you can get just by clicking here down below where you go through an entire system of how to give a high quality shoulder and neck massage. And now with what you learn here, you're gonna just skyrocket your performance, you're gonna skyrocket your results. And these are also the kinds of things that you learn in Transformational Time Massage, which is my certification, coaching, and mentoring program to help you succeed both at Thai on the mat and on the table and at the business of giving time massage as well. So if you wanna learn more about that program, click on this link down below. But now let's learn these three keys, these three secrets to giving an incredible time massage technique. And so what are those three aspects to giving a killer amazing technique? Well, number one is alignment and really support. So in that sense, I'm talking about my client or my partner, that they be in a really comfortable aligned position that's really good for their body and also really well supported. And so that's why when I give a massage, I always want to have lots of props on hand. Second one is presence. And so that's me and my body, making sure that I'm using my body as well as I can be. And that could be also with the use of props to really take really great care of my body. And then I am focused and present. And I'm saying to myself, is there anything else that I can do to make myself even more comfortable? And if, even if I'm in the middle of giving a technique, I'll make an adjustment so that I am comfortable and even more comfortable. That makes it better for me, but that also actually makes it better for them as well. And, you know, I think in a lot of Thai massage schools, that is taught and it's really important. Those are two of the key essentials. But in my school and in my way of giving the massage, there's this third component as well. And that is we want to always encourage spaciousness. And by that, I mean really space. We want to encourage opportunities for their body to heal itself in the moment as well as in the greater context of the massage. That the body is always working for itself. Their body is always moving towards a place of greater healing and wholeness, but it needs a little bit of time to feel that. And so we don't want to force that. What we actually want to do is we want to let go that we feel that we have our partner in a really good position and then we can just trust trust in them trust in their body trust really in the whole healing energy of the universe because it is in us as individuals and it's here all around us and we're really harnessing all that when we give the massage so let's put that into practice and you'll see exactly what i mean first one i'm going to show you is the tree pose so in the tree pose, again, setting up for it would be to first encourage some nice healthy movements of the hip to help open up. And so that's part of that alignment. Leading into the pose, which would be this triangle shape where the foot touches the other leg. And then as far as alignment and support, so you can see there's a gap, there's a space between her knee and the mat. Now for some people, that space, when you press on it, it actually feels really good. It feels like a nice, deep, nourishing, amazing stretch here. For other people, it may feel too much. So how do we know? Again, this is all about alignment and support. So we'll do a few test presses here. And then I'll ask her and say, hey, would you like a pillow? No. And she says no. So for her, this space is a good space and she wants me to press here and just help to create a nice deeper press. And now for my body, you can see that I put myself in a position, this is called the warrior stance, and I opened up my hip. So, you know, you have choices. So let's say I start with my leg close to my body. So again, so we've got her alignment and support. We know she doesn't need a pillow. We know she's lying comfortably and we warmed her up. And then we've got my body. So I am 
thinking about, okay, I'm gonna press on the inside of her knee, and I'm gonna press on the inside of her thigh. And as I'm doing that, how do I feel? So I can experiment. I'm starting with my leg, actually making contact with my arm. And that's one thing I often like to do in my massage so that my leg is literally helping my arm with that press. So that as I press here on her inner thigh for a few minutes even, as can happen in this position, I've got that contact and I'm creating support. But what if I feel a little tight in my hip or in my lower back? Part way through, I may decide, hmm, let's see what it feels like to open this up a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm giving myself a nice stretch. I'm letting my back have a little more extension. And so these are also great things that you can do. You can do both even while you're doing that tree. And now if we come back to the third point, and that's the spaciousness. So everything I've been doing, I've been doing with lots of repetition and pressing back and forth. But then at a certain point, it's really nice to hold and pause. Less is more. And just let her body do what it knows how to do to create the greatest benefits while receiving the stretch. So eventually your hands settle into places where you can have those, where you can move from shorter pauses to longer pauses and you can just hang out. And so that rhythm of first starting with shorter pauses to help warm up and do things safely and comfortably, but then having longer pauses to create spaciousness and doing it all in a way where I'm comfortable in my shifting body. That, those are the three keys. The three keys to giving an incredible technique. So here was a dynamic example, and now let's look at it in a passive way. So here, we're setting up for a back massage. So alignment and support are still very important. So for her to lie comfortably, we could just have her lying flat on the mat, but maybe there's a better way. And so that's why I have these bolsters, because what the bolsters do, they come underneath the shoulders to create support and then there's a place to place her head where she can breathe freely and also to have a nice long neck and a straight neck and a straight back as well so all of that really helps to get her into an ideal position getting ready for a back massage and as we know people often hold so much tension in their backs as well and then for myself i have so many positions and so many options for how i can position myself but the one that I want to show you, which has arguably become my favorite for how I like to do a lot of my back massage, is I will literally just sit right next to her in a comfortable seated position so that I can get my elbow across her body. And so what this really does, again, it allows me to have that nice rocking motion to feel like I'm going to be able to use my whole body and I've gotten off of my knees and off of my feet so that my back is relaxed, my legs are relaxed, and I can focus on the tension and on the release that I want to try and bring to her back. So literally my other hand right now is just hanging out. My first presses will be to make circles, will be to wiggle, will be to soften. So that still works really with the first principle of alignment and support. But when I feel that the area has softened and I've identified one of these knots that I might want to go into more deeply, but not only more deeply, just giving her body that opportunity, like I said, to do what it knows how to do, we want to create those pauses. So I get to a place where I'm just moving my my elbow or the side of my forearm in places where we can breathe together, where we can pause together, where it's no longer about me trying to accomplish or do anything. It's about 
honoring and respecting the intelligence of the body. And so that's it. That is really what I want you to have in your heart, in your mind, in your choices throughout the massage. Alignment and support for them, presence and really comfort for you, and then as you ease into your techniques, spaciousness, trusting that their body knows exactly what to do. And so we want to get to those places in each technique that we give to allow for that intelligence to take over. And there you have it. The three components to giving an amazing technique and you just stack them up and build them up and by the end you have given a phenomenal, fantastic massage. So maybe this is me geeking out on Thai massage, but this is how I look very deeply at how to give a massage, both how I learn, how I teach it to make it even easier for you to learn it and give it at an incredibly high level. They are the kinds of things that I show you and go into much more detail in the Thai Massage Challenge. So don't forget to click on this link down below to get that free course. And then also for those of you who are ready to get certified and really take your practice to the next level, then check out Transformational Thai Massage as well, where you learn, of course, not only this, but but how to give over two and a half hours worth of Thai massage techniques on the mat, another 90 minutes on the table, and so much more. For now, I just wanna wish you some amazing massages and that you integrate this geeky, wonderful knowledge of Thai massage into your massages right away.